नमस्कार मेरा नाम पवन गुरनुले है मैं बेलारा गोंडमवाड़ गेट का गेट इंचार्ज हूँ बेलारा गोंडमवाड़ गेट एक जनवरी 2021 को ओपन किया था और आपका बेलारा गेट में स्वागत है नमस्कार हेलो नमस्कार मैं धर्मपाल जूतड़े गाइड बेलारा गेट एक जनवरी 2021 को यह हमारा बेलारा गेट ओपन हुआ है चलो आपको ले चलते हैं हमारे जोन में हमारे जोन में पांच टाइगर है तीन फीमेल है और दो मेल है जब से हमारा गेट ओपन हुआ है तब से टाइगर का पम्फा अच्छा रहा है और हमारे जो पर्यटक लोग आते हैं उनको कभी निराश हाथ नहीं लगी है हमारा बेलारा जोन में दो बड़े तालाब है एक माडोरा तालाब है एक गांव तालाब है माडोरा तालाब में बारह मास पानी रहता है और उसमें विदेशों से पक्षी आते हैं और टाइगर के लिए अच्छी जगह है माडोरा तालाब और बहुत सारे प्राणी हैं गोर है बीबट है और अनेक प्रकार के प्राणी हैं इसलिए हम आपका स्वागत करते हैं और एक बार आइए और पर्यटक का आनंद लीजिए नमस्कार Good day to all the wildlife enthusiasts out there. Today, we are eager to present to you the 14th buffer and the latest addition in Theroba, the Bellara Gate. Including this, Theroba has the highest number of buffer gates as compared to the other tiger reserves in the country. Ever since, Theroba has been a success with respect to tiger conservation. We are now reaching a water body known as Madora Lake. This huge water body houses a host of animals and bird species, both resident and migratory. We see flocks of grey lag goose and bar-headed geese here during the winters. This water body does not only harbor just the birds, but is also a primary water source for all other animals found in this buffer. During the monsoons, we get to witness a sea of birds breeding, nesting, and raising the chicks until they are fit to take off from the nest. With the visibility being for almost a kilometer in and around the lake, the chances of sighting animals is high during the summers. ये माडोरा तालाब है ये पार्शाले में पूरा भर के रहता है और हिवाले में यहाँ पे परदेशी पक्षी आते हैं और चिड़िया पूरे आते हैं यहाँ पे धुपकाले में बहुत सारा पानी रहता है जंगल के सब जानवर और पशु यहाँ पे आके पानी पी के आपको आनंद लेने का अवसर मिलेगा ये हमारा बेलारा गेट का माडोरा तालाब है धन्यवाद Here we see a flock of cormorants taking off from the banks of the lake. We can see a female nil guy quenching her thirst. Usually, the females are found in a herd. However, here we see her away from herds. These are the largest antelopes in Asia. and Bellara has the highest population of nilgai in the Theroba forest Here we see the female pass the bank of the talab and gallop into the bush after spotting our vehicle the lesser whistling teals are found foraging on the banks
The large white bird seen here is the greater egret and alongside it is the oriental data skimming the banks of the talab. Another common stock species found here are the Asian open bill stocks. Another speciality seen here are these beautiful river terns which are passage migrants. These birds spend very little time in Taroba. However, in recent times, we are seeing them commonly as resident birds. They are excellent fishing birds, also known as ravarine birds. This is a bird known as the white browed wagtail. They are winter migrants in Taroba. However, a few individuals stay back and end up being resident birds. This is a We are now heading towards the Mahadora Kuti, which is the closest Kuti. To the Mahodora Lake. We have taken the same route as we had taken for the lake and have bumped into the pug marks of a tigress. These pug marks weren't there when we had crossed this road and as you can see here it is on the tire prints of our vehicle which means that the tigress has walked after we have crossed this road. We will now follow her pug marks and see where it will lead us. The eagle's eye of our driver spotted the tigress sleeping under the bamboo thickets. It is a warm summer afternoon and the tigress has walked a long distance in the hot sun. This is a tigress who lives close to the kuti and bears three little cubs of around three months old. The forest watchers and the primary response team have seen her with her cubs. She is also the female often spotted during the night safari at Palasgaon. This is a tigress called Maharani. This is a young female tiger who could be somewhere around 4-4.5 four, four years old and she is known to be extremely shy of the vehicles. The Belara gate has opened recently and we are hoping that this tigress will be as bold as any tourism tiger in the coming days. We will let her be and continue further to look for something more fascinating. As we leave the evergreen patch where the tigress rested, we came across a huge Indian gaur walking on the road. It looks like he might have come out of the stream bed with perennial water source found close to the place where the tigress was seen. One of the interesting feature of the Balara buffer is its terrain with laterite rock formations. Usually, 
This kind of formation are formed in hot climatic conditions as seen in this buffer. Laterites are formed due to the leaching of sedimentary rocks such as sandstones, clays and limestones. Exposed surfaces are blackish brown to reddish and commonly have a slaggy or scoriaceous lava like appearance. This is a rare bird often referred to as the tiger for bird watchers. This is the painted sand grouse. This is a naturally occurring cave found on the banks of the stream. This stream has water gushing through it during the monsoons. This is a Madras tree shrew, also referred to as the Indian tree shrew. These tree shrews often take refuge in the natural cavities of the trees when threatened. The summer is at its peak and we expect to see a lot of summer migrants. In our previous episode, we had shown you the Indian Paradise Flycatcher and the Black Hooded Oriole who are also summer migrants. Here is another such migrant known to be one of the most colourful birds, the Indian Pitta. This bird is also called as the Navrang because of the nine colours found in them. We have often missed this colourful bird at flight. On air, we can see the prominent turquoise underwing. As we were moving ahead, we also got to see a male tiger's pug mark on the road. The pug marks look very fresh and are leading to one of the nearest water bodies called the lane body. As we followed the pug marks and reached Lane Bodhi, we could see a tiger resting under the Jamun tree at a distance. It is hot in the afternoon and he is panting. In the meanwhile, while we were waiting for the tiger to get up, we also encountered another female called as Junabai who had come on patrolling. The tigress did not know that there is a male tiger sitting under the tree. As she went closer to the areas where the Kankazari tiger had walked, she also smelt his presence and she went on following his trail. She started sniffing the trees, trying to analyze if it was Kankazari or any other tiger in her territory. In the meanwhile, the male tiger Kankazari who was sleeping under the Jamun tree for over two hours got up and started advancing towards the water body. Kankazari is usually seen in the Kolara Madnapur area 
and now we also have records of him traveling across Belara buffer. In fact, a few years ago, he was seen in the Ali Janja buffer. He's often seen crossing the Kolara Kor and Kolara buffer and Madnapur buffer is a part of his prime area. In the recent time, he has also started moving around in Belara buffer and also was spotted recently in the Palasgao night safari. You can now imagine how big his area would be and how many females he would have in his large territory. Interestingly, the male tiger does not know that there is a female who is on a patrol. The female has wandered and she has gone in a different way. But she might return anytime is what we expected. This was the female who was stalking him. The male tiger curiously walks closer to the female tiger. He looks confident as he goes closer. He knows it is Junabai, the tigress whom he had mated with and had two litters. The male tiger sniffs and does the flamen response which is usually done to find out who the other tiger is. We could also hear them chuffing a vocal communication in between the tigers to comfort each other. What a beautiful sight to watch these big cats having a personal time. The reason for the tigress to come to this area was to mark her territory. It looks like she is busy sniffing everywhere around to see the presence of any other tiger. The male tiger stalks her closely. It is a clear no from the female tiger.
the female was on the patrol and did not get a chance to drink water she also comes closer to the water to quench her thirst He is now at the edge of the water body. It looks like he is still feeling warm as you can see him panting. It is late in the evening when he decides to sit in the water. We will let him be on his own. It is definitely rare to have seen him and Juna Bai together. Having seen such a beautiful sight, we would like to end the episode of the Belara Gate by a saying from Mahabharata. It says do not cut down the forest with its tigers and do not banish the tigers from the forest the tiger perishes without the forest and the forest perishes without the tigers stay home stay safe सब लोग अपने घर में रहिए सेफ रहिए जय हिंद स्टे होम एंड स्टे सेफ जय हिंद घर ही रहा सुरक्षित रहा जय हिंद